So number 15, the last question in paper one of the 2017 Higher Maths. Here we go, there's only four marks here, it takes up a whole page, a lot of description. A quadratic function f of x, some information given. A quadratic function h of x, which is simply according to this, this one translated, a transformation of this graph. And it's given here. h of x is f of x plus a, and then overall plus b. Write down the values of a and b. So this is simply mean, meant to be this one that's been shifted along and up. Now notice with a plus a, a plus would imply it's going backwards. That a must be negative. What you've actually got is this. It's actually equal to f of. Sometimes it's better just to write it down. You would say, well, this point that was 2, 3 has gone along to 7, so it's gone 5 forward. So that must be x minus 5. But the actual values of them, the y coordinates, have gone up 3, so it's definitely plus 3. Then comparing them, that means a is actually negative 5 and b is 3. Now for part B, there's only one mark here. Someone's gone to an awful lot of trouble to construct this question, especially this little part here. It's only going to get one mark for all their efforts. It says, if it's known that the integral from 1 to 3 of f of x, so I would interpret as this area in here, is equal to 4, what's the value of the integral of this one from 6 to 8? Remember, that doesn't mean the total area under it from this point to this point. It's from 6 to 8, from that vertical line, if you were to shade it in, all the way up to the vertical line for 8. Well, one thing to notice is they've given you a clue with these dotted lines. 6 and 8 are two apart. So those two points in the graph are two apart, so they must correspond to these two points. Because along this parabola, there'll only be one pair of horizontal points which are two apart. So this part has shifted up there. This part has shifted up to here, which means if that area is 4, then this area is 4. So all you've got to do is add on this rectangle, not these two parts, because it says the integral from 6 to 8. You start creating your vertical lines at 6 and finish at 8. So that area must be 4 plus the area of that rectangle. And that rectangle is, since that point was originally on the x-axis and it's gone up 3, that distance going up the way must be 3. And the distance between them is 2. So 3 times 2 or 2 times 3. So that must be 4 plus 6, which is 10. Now there's only one mark for all of that. For all of that interpreting and understanding and so on. And the last part, given that f dashed of 1 is 6, what's the value of h dashed of 8? Well, f dashed of 1 means the gradient, the derivative, on this graph at 1 is 6. That's this gradient here, this steep gradient, a gradient of 6, 1 along, 6 up. Now, on this graph, at 8, 8 actually corresponds to this point because at 8, that's where it was lifted up 3. That point corresponds to this one here. So the gradient here corresponds to this gradient, and since it's symmetrical about a vertical axis, if it's 1 along 6 up on this side, it must be 1 along but 6 down on that side, so it's negative 6.